on its way. The men's under 58s, Jiang Chun go against Italy's Vito De La Chia, and they are on their way in just a moment's time. Well, fans getting their money's worth. Ringside seats, but rest assured, wherever you are, you've got the best seats in the house. The men's 58 final will be followed by the women's 57s, then the men's heavyweights, women's under 67s, and the final final will be the men's 68s. Well, Jiang Chun, a formidable foe for anyone. Made the rapid rise from winning the Junior Worlds in Burnaby. Skylar Park also repeated that, so two of them will be at the Olympic Games, but this man here has become the absolute monster in the division. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. It's one of those things, when you're taking down other world champions from your own country, uh, not only are you legit, you're no joke. Well, Vito looking for victory. Can he secure a spot at the Olympic Games? He's right in contention. And as I say, January 1st will confirm the exact details of who will go and who will not in terms of categorization. But you can have more than a fair bet that this young man will be in amongst that conversation. And we saw how impressive Popov was before. Vito gave him a bit of a pasting. Yeah, he, he had a great showing yesterday. He had to take down some serious, serious competition to get here. So I think uh, Jun Jang's got his work cut out for him today. Well, if one thing we know, as you say, his work cut out for him, but he likes to put the work in. As the sensors and the protectors go through their final tests, Tunisia's Anur Lassi, the main man in the middle. Is the head guard working? Oh, yes, there we go. All good in the hood. They can put theirself onto the top of the podium. Carlo Mofetta on the left of the screen there. Olympic champion in 2012 for Italy, now performance director. Be happy with the work of this young man here. Shorter of the two, Jiang Chan, of course, noted for those head kicks in the clinch, Stephen. Yeah, absolutely. Or even from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, just, uh, I think what goes under underappreciated though is just the strength of his base leg, that leg that stays on the ground. Vito taking the early lead 2-0 with some quality defense there. I like it, M showing respect in that he knows what Jun Jang can do, but at the same time, he's in it for that gold medal too. Fantastic punch by Jun Jang, cut the lead to 2-1. Minute and a half left in this first round. As you see, in it to win it, Vito De La Chia. Good start from the young Italian. Ever so popular with the Italian fans and indeed all across Europe. Making a name for himself on the world stage now. Jiang Chun already the established main man in the division. He's not getting all his own way, Stephen. Yeah, no, uh, but cool as ice. He's keeping his composure. He's, he's getting pushed around a little bit, but saw a smirk from him there a minute ago. I think he's, ooh, yeah, working on the game plan. That's a... Uh, well-earned deduction, I think, at that point. That uh, didn't look like there was any intent to actually kick. Yep, closing the distance, not only getting that deduction, but then getting the punch, putting him up 3-2. Jun Jang, the Korean in blue, leads with a minute left in this first round. A tale of two coaches, the impassioned Italian coach, the calm and composed Korean coach. The difference at the moment, just one point on the board. You're doing really well, Vito. Keep it going, forget about the gam jump. Two points of a difference. The strength in the clinch, underappreciated from Jang Chun. It probably takes a sore one in the foot there. Jun Jang starting to look more and more in control of this match. Cool and composed as ever. Oh, fantastic turn by Vito. That not only ties it, he's gonna get the extra two points because a turn to the body is worth four. Very excellent play. I think caught Jun Jang a little bit lackadaisical in that one. I think all of us, to be fair, caught yep. us all by surprise. The momentum was going the Korean way. 
But the young Italian stallion sneaks back into it. Yeah, yeah, again, taking advantage of the fact that he knows Jun Zhang's gonna go. He's aggressive. He's gonna go for the opportunity. Oh, good power and intensity from the Korean. He's beginning to have a look at the scoreboard as if to say, how dare you defy me? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Given up quite a few deductions. Vito needs to be careful. Those can come back and bite him in the end. Already three deductions. Still leading eight, five, seven seconds. Jun Zheng trying to make something happen in the last few seconds. No, nope, gonna bounce it out. Nice little bow from both men. But the start, of course, Jiang Chun would have come in as the prohibitive favorite on paper. But it's not fought on paper. It's fought out there on the mat. And Vito De La Chia, just imperious, just deciding to be confident, to go for it. And he's really laid down a marker in this first round. Well, I think uh, Jun Zhang's uh, look at the end of that round pretty much summarized it, like you said. He had this look on his face of, uh, that's not what the score should say. Like, I, I, I should be winning. This is odd. Um, we'll see. Always good at keeping his composure. He's been in this situation before, but he is young. So I'm curious to see what his adjustment's going to be when uh, Vito, like you said, anybody can be beaten. He came in very confident. He did great that first round, took an opportunity that put him ahead. And as you can see from the... Uh, each side here, both men, barely looks like they're even breathing hard. So uh, definitely more gears to drop into for this next round. Well, will they go through the gears, as you say, and who can motor towards the title here in Moscow? The open stance to start this one. Vito de Aquila in red, poised with that front leg ready. He knows that Jiang Chun loves to work in this distance here. Jiang Chun just trying to run through the program in his mind to say, okay, this is not quite what was supposed to be happening. He's not been too many points down at any stage this season. But life's not an unbroken series of green lights. You've got to go through the odd roadblock. A good block in the inside there from the Italian. Yep, close the distance off. I mean, for uh, the excellent attempt to the face there, for two guys that aren't even 20 yet, I mean, this is... Uh, I, I think if two years ago you had asked, hey, who do you think is going to be in the final of the Grand Prix final in 2019? You wouldn't have said these kids. It's just so impressive, their athletic ability and what they've done at such a young age. Great observation, Stephen Lambden. Bringing the mirth and indeed the knowledge, but bringing the quality so far has been Vito De La Chia. Two former junior foes. Bringing it up here in the senior ranks. Standing tall in the center and good counter again. Yep, scoring out of the clinch. He's taking advantage. I think I, I think the Koreans getting a little frustrated. Good good call by the judges. That was uh, a lot of extension, good noise. Absolutely should have scored that 10-6. Oh, yep, 10-7 going straight back in for it. Vito still leading, but Jun Jang slowly clipping away at it. Looking for that back kick to put him up to begin with. 44 seconds left in the second round. Yep, going straight back for that punch. The judges are going to start giving it to him. Vito either needs to change stance or make some sort of adjustment. Because again, that's uh, four or five. Yeah, four, four, four punches. Five? Yeah, four or five. I can't remember. But still, that's a heck of a lot of punches. We've got to make some adjustment if we're Italy. Yeah, as you see, the perfect precision for those punches in a row. Jiang Chun changing up the game plan as Vito De La Chia tries to change up the scores on the board. The momentum just about with the young Italian by the merest of margins as we creep towards oh, the last 10 seconds or so of this second round. Jiang Chun comes forward with a headshot of his own. Well blocked. But it's been that marginal adjustment. They nodded to each other with a couple of seconds to go in the last round. Jiang Chun decides to beat a hasty retreat there. But adaptations, as you know, Stephen, better than many of that's so key to try and change things up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Korea saw the opportunity. The judges were being generous with those punches. He got himself back in this game, not with body shots or head shots, but taking easy punches. And if Vito's not going to make the correction, Korea's just got to keep going back in for it, taking the opportunity. Uh, I, I got to say, I don't think there's been many matches where this particular Korean has been down no. at least two rounds. This, is, this is an interesting dynamic. We might see a major upset in this gold medal match. Well, there are changes of generation. We saw Bradley Sinden unseat Lee Dae-hoon for the first time in the Grand Slam this time last year. And ever since then, other players have thought, oh, well, I could have a go at that. That's possible. Are we witnessing a possible shock on the cards here? Still plenty of Taekwondo to go. And we haven't seen the best of Jiang Chun yet. The body shots haven't worked. 
can he find a kick to the head? We have to factor in, of course, the day of rest between yesterday and today. Of course, as you say, both just 20, but resting not on the laurels. As both men try to come forward, a share of head kicks, no points on the board. Keeping the pressure on, I like that. That's a good adjustment for that punch, trying to go straight down the middle. Like, uh, Chun Zheng might actually end up running into that if he's not careful, and he keeps going back for that punch. Great decision by Vito and his coach. Oh, I like Tommy kick. Korea goes up by one with that body point. Into the clinch they go, and the referee duly separates them. The power of the shots is the punch that he was trying to do. Yep, exactly. Tied it up. Vito hit that body shot with his foot at the exact same time. Ties it up 12 12. Minute 15 to go. A lot of fight left in this one. Well, time ticks down in the efforts of both men. The under 58 is going at it. Great share of the shots. Big headshot from Vito. Yep, giving up that body shot to take the headshot. I'll go 3 to 2 any day of the week. One minute the call from Team Italy. The Koreans calm and composed. The young Italian with a slender lead jumps in again with the yep. punch. There's that punch. He's got to go back to his game plan of going straight down the middle. Otherwise, Jun Jang's going to take this punch all day and run away with that gold medal. Well, he's used his hands and his head to change things up. Vito De La Chia has adapted likewise. We've seen a few shifts in momentum. We're moving towards the crucial stages of it here. A flick up to the face. Attempted there from Vita Della Chia. And Jang Chun for the first time goes wow. with the punch, counter the way through. That was the adjustment. Yep, he took that easy point right as he knew Jun Jang was going to run into that punch. <laughs> Sees it coming. Is he going to see himself getting a gam jump for stepping out? Good referee lets it flow. The coach deciding not to play the card. Great balance from Vito Della Chia. Trying for that spin, trying to go up big. 15 seconds left. Vito's still up 17 16. This is on the verge of a major upset. Let's see what Jun Jang's going to make happen. Opportunities now for Vito De La Chia to claim a historic win. Goes with the back leg turning kick. Big punch from Korea. Jang Chun trying to work forward. Vito De La Chia, match management now into the clinch. No gam jom given. Looking for options, the punch on the way through. The counter from Vito De La Chia. He seals the deal in the last seconds, extends it to a five-point lead. There's only three seconds to go. Jang Chun goes with the spin, but the big win looks to be heading to Vito De La Chia. He will eat the gam jump all day long. He's going to grab history here. Wonderful moments. He'll take the other gam jump quite happily. The clock ticks down, and Jang Chun came in as the favourite. Tries the back kick round the corner, but going back to Italy, Carlo Mofetta delighted. Team Italy ecstatic. Vito De La Chia with the big upset in Moscow. The main man from Italy grabbing that gold. Jang Chun gave it everything, but just couldn't get himself on the board with those kicks, Stephen. Yeah, uh, early mistakes and big risks taken early by the Italian paid off in the end. That big spin in the first round made all the difference in the end. And not only was that good ring management at the end, good decision making. Uh, honestly, I think this might be the upset of the tournament. For sure. That's uh, uh, I, the number six taking down a very, very strong, very dominant number one is pretty unbelievable. And Vito De La Chia puts himself right slap bang into contention for the Olympic Games. Yeah, it's uh, that, that's the kind of that's the kind of goal where uh, we like to see because at the end of the day, it's I mean that's Grand Prix level Taekwondo. That's that that's a final that not only not only you want to see happen. It's so extremely rare. It's it's just incredibly impressive. Uh, all all the credit in the world to Vito and his team right there because man that's. Uh, We've just had a couple of matches in a row of just absolute mind blowers.